This video is a demonstration of the inverting horizontal mattress suture. To begin placement of this suture, the needle is first passed parallel to the wound edge, passing through the tissues and exiting again on the same side of the wound edge. The second throw will occur on the contralateral side of the wound, placing the suture through the epidermis equidistant from the exit point of the suture on the initial side of the wound. The second throw occurs in a backhanded fashion, is driven deep within the tissue, and exits again on the same side of the wound parallel to the wound edge such that a box shape is created. The suture is then tied off in the typical fashion using either an instrument tie or a one-handed or two-handed surgeon's knot. The inverting horizontal mattress suture is somewhat of a niche technique in that it creates marked inversion of the edges of the wound, which is generally not a desirable feature in the closure of a traumatic laceration, but occasionally it can be an effect that you're trying to achieve. For example, when you're trying to recreate a natural crease, such as right next to the nose, the alar rims, or perhaps the mental crease in a laceration of the chin. Here you see that marked inversion is created by the inverting horizontal mattress suture, a niche technique. For more information on this and other techniques in basic and advanced wound repair, visit www.lacerationrepair.com.